Do-do-do, 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 Ozzy's tech and stuff, yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy, and I'm back again with another video. Today we're going to be comparing the TWS i9s, or not i9s, versus the official Apple AirPods. So let's go ahead and get started. Bruh. All right, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the design of the case. Now, if you take a look here, take a look here, the i9s is slightly bigger than the Apple AirPods. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but the AirPods is a whiter white. This one's more of a creamy white. Here's the comparison. Now, of course, you have the lightning cable for the Apple AirPods and you have micro USB for the uh, i9s. It's so the comparison of the size. Very, very close. Not quite one to one, but very close. All right, so let's go ahead and open the case here. We do have magnetic case for the i9s. And as you can see, the LEDs indicating that the Blue light is indicating that it's charging the i9s and the red is indicating that they are being charged. With the official Apple AirPods, you don't have that LED, but you do have a LED light on the top indicating that they are being charged. Now let's take a look here, opening. And this one is a little flimsy. You can hear it, it's a cheap plastic. I mean, $20, come on, it's a cheap plastic, this one. It's a little bit, little bit more secure. It feels a little bit more well done. Now I'm gonna be holding this one open here. As you can see, this one does have the little sensor on the top, as well as on the side. This one does not have it. Let's look in the back. Now another thing that you can see here right off the bat the chrome plate on this is still intact. The chrome plate on this is uh, faded out, faded away. This does have the button back here to pair with other devices. This one does not. It's a comparison. All right, so let's go ahead and compare the uh, sizes of the earbuds themselves. Let's take these out here. All right, so here's a size comparison. I'll try to line it up as best you can. If you can see, the i9s is slightly longer than the official Apple AirPods, but very, very, very slightly. You can see there out of focus very very but i9's very good job here's another look at them just a little bit bigger here not too much not like the i7s those are ridiculous there you go you can see that they don't have the uh, sensor for when you take the earbuds off and on all right another thing that i can notice right off the bat is the airpods are a lot heavier these feel like they're maybe didn't utilize all the space in here these feel like there's a lot of tech in them so it's gonna be a little bit heavier these are gonna be lighter depending on your preference that might be a good or bad thing I personally like the feel of the airpods they feel a little bit more solid than the i9s but again 20 160 or 170 whatever the price is now now let's talk, compare a little bit of how these are connected. These, if you connect them to an Apple device, all you gotta do is open them, have Bluetooth on, on, the, on the Apple device, it'll automatically find them and it'll pair. These, you do have to pair them one by one. They do have a button on the side of the earbuds themselves that you pair them like that. As far as sound quality, these are not the greatest, but 
the AirPods are better than the i9s. The i9s at higher volumes sound a little bit tingy. Uh, they don't sound the greatest. These sound pretty good and they have decent bass on them. But I mean, these are a little bit higher quality than these. All right, guys. So you might be thinking, Ozzy, why would I want to pay $20 for Apple knockoffs? Now, me personally, I have my preferences as to why I would pay $20, $30, $40 dollars for a style like the Apple AirPods. For one, the conveniency of the case, okay? You put the earbuds in this case, you put them in your pocket, you barely feel that they're there. You know, you can put them in a book bag, stuff like that. Other wireless, uh, true wireless earphones, um, they come with a bigger case. This is small. This fits in any pocket here, any bag, any, you know, book bag or anything like that. And that's a conveniency of the case. They charge the wireless earbuds. Again, that's just a preference of mine. Number two is I don't like the earbuds that go all the way inside your ears. These do not go in all the way inside your ears. These kind of just sit on the base of the ear and they for that there's good and bad good because i don't like when the earbuds go all the way inside my ear and bad because you don't get noise cancellation with them so you do hear what's going around you but depending on what your preference is that might be good or bad One thing is that these LEDs are a little annoying sometimes at night when I'm listening to music or whatnot and I plug them in and to charge them and you know these LEDs come off so I have to throw these in a drawer or something like that. That's a little bit annoying but for the price you know I can put up with it. Alright guys so that's a quick comparison so you guys can see the official Apple AirPods. These are not mine, someone lent them to me to do this video, but uh, good thing is that I did purchase um, the i10s. They are about a week, a week and a half away, so when I get those in, I'll be doing a unboxing and then a review video as well. So those are supposed to be very nice. Some of the features that lack on the i9s are supposed to be added into the i10s. I'm very excited. Um, you know, they don't have a button, they have like a a touch sensitive feature to them they automatically connect when you open them these don't so that should be pretty cool so as soon as i get those in i'll do an unboxing and then like i said i'll do a, an initial review of the ear pods so um thanks for watching guys till the next one peace